Hong Kong today reported 4,064 locally acquired COVID infections and 186 imported cases. Starting Thursday, travellers heading to Hong Kong must complete an online health declaration and get a QR code before boarding their flights. Currently, people arriving Hong Kong must fill in an electric health declaration and present a vaccination record and a negative test result. That's on top of showing their hotel reservation, as well as getting a COVID test, which takes a few hours. The government noted some travellers did not complete their declaration until after their arrival in Hong Kong, which hindered others who'd completed theirs. This led to long waiting times during peak hours. To streamline the process, all inbound travellers will be required to complete the declarations before boarding their flights. They must also present a QR code that they obtained during check-in for verification by the airline. Travellers can submit their declarations as early as three days before their scheduled arrival in Hong Kong. To shorten their waiting times at the airport, those arriving Hong Kong starting next month will get to use an upgraded electronic health declaration system. Travellers can provide information required for quarantine, such as vaccination records and reservation reference numbers in that system as well. Tourism sector lawmaker Yu Pat Lung welcomed the move and stressed the government should gradually relax the quarantine arrangements to attract more visitors to the city. Meanwhile, Francis Chan, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine of Chinese University, says the city's daily COVID infections could easily go back up to five digits and people should not let the guard down. He added more recovered patients have developed symptoms of long COVID. He urged the government to allocate resources to find a cure for that. This comes as the city registered another 4,064 local cases, including a dozen workers and residents of care homes for the elderly or the disabled. Several students from the same class at a Taipo primary school were infected, and that class will be suspended for a week. Eight more patients with underlying conditions died, bringing the city's death toll in the fifth wave to 9,256.